The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ According to John Jesus went forth with his disciples across the Cajun Valley where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. Now Judas who betrayed him also knew the place for Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas, procuring a band of soldiers and some officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, went there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Then Jesus, knowing all that was to befall him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you see? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. Judas who betrayed him was standing with them. When he said to them, I am he. They drew back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Whom do you see? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he, so if you seek me, let this man go. This was to fulfill the word which he had spoken, of those whom thou gavest me, I lost not one. Then Simon Peter, having a son, drew it and struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into his sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews seized Jesus and bound him. First they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had given counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. As this disciple was known to the high priest, he entered the court of the high priest along with Jesus, while Peter stood outside the door. So the other disciple who was known to the high priest went out and spoke to the maid who kept the door and brought Peter in. The maid who kept the door said to Peter, Answer, I am not. Now the servants and officers had made a charcoal fire because it was cold and they were standing and warming themselves. Peter also was with them standing and warming himself. The high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciple and his teaching. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where all Jews come together. 
I have said nothing secretly. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the officers standing by struck Jesus with his hand, exclaiming, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken wrongly, bear witness to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Anas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They said to him, Aren't you also one of his disciples? Aren't you also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not one of the servants of the high priest, a kinsman of the man whose ear Peter had cut off in system. Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter again denied it, and at once the cock crowed. Then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas to the Praetorium. It was early, they themselves did not enter the Praetorium, so that they might not be defiled but might eat the Passover. So Pilate went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered him, If this man were not an evil Jew, we would not have handed him over. and judge him by your own law. The Jew said to him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. This was to fulfill the word which Jesus had spoken to show by what that he was to die. Pilate entered the praetorium again and called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord? Or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nations and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingship is not of this world. If my kingship were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the Jews. But my kingship is not from the world. Pilate said to him, So you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king, for this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone 
one who is of the truth, hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? After he had said this, he went out to the Jews again and told them, I find no crime in him, but you have a custom that I should release one man for you at the Passover. Will you have me release for you the king of the Jews? They cried out again, Not this man, but Barabbas. Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers painted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him with their hands. Pilate went out again and said to them, Behold, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no crime in him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Here is the man. When the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourself and crucify him, for I find no crime in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by that law he ought to die, because he has made himself the Son of God. We have a law, and by that law he ought to die, because he has made himself Pilate heard these words, he was the more afraid. He entered the praetorium and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, You will not speak to me. Do you not know that I have the power to release you and power to crucify you? Jesus answered, You would have no power over me unless it had been given from above. Therefore he who delivered me to you as the greatest sin. Upon this Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews kept shouting, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a king sets himself against Caesar. Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement 
and in him to Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. He said to the Jews, Here is your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him, crucify him. Away with him, away with him, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of the skull, which is in Hebrew Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote a title and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. The chief priest of the Jews then said to Pilate, Do not write the king of the Jews. But this man said, I am king of the Jews. Do not write the king of the Jews. But this man said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garment and made four parts, one for his shoulder, also his tunic. But the tunic was without sin, woven from top to bottom, so they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but let us cast lots for it to see. Whose it shall be? Let us not tear it, but let us cast us for it to see. Whose it shall be? This was to fulfill the scripture. They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lot. So the soldiers did this. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clophus, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said in fulfillment of Scripture, I a bowl full of vinegar stood them, so they put a sponge full of vinegar on the hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had finished the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Please kneel. Since 
Because it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath. For that Sabbath was a high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the leg of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his leg. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it as born witness, his testimony is true, and he knows he tells the truth, that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled, no the bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, They shall look on him whom they have pierced. After this Joseph of Arimathea who was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leaves, so he came and took away his body. Nicodemus also, who had at first come to him by night, came bringing a mixture of more and aloes, about a hundred pounds weight. They took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen clothes with the spices, According to the Jewish burial custom, now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, where no one had ever been laid. Because of the Jewish day of preparation, as the tomb was close at hand, there